Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer software testing interview question 335. That is, what is the difference between localization testing and globalization testing? Let me answer. So what is the difference between localization testing and globalization testing? To understand the difference between localization testing and globalization testing, First, we have to separately understand what is localization testing and separately understand what is globalization testing. Then we can understand the difference. So first, let's understand what is localization testing, okay? So, so what is localization testing? Testing performed for checking the localized version of a product, okay? That is a software which is specifically developed for a particular culture, locality, or language or region is nothing but a localized version of the software. Testing such kind of localized version of the software which is specifically defined or designed for a specific culture, language, locality is known as localization testing. Let me give an example, guys, okay? You already know about Windows operating system, which is from Microsoft. So if I examine my Windows operating system, wherever you see, everything is coming in English language, okay? Whatever the tab you go or whatever the options you select, Okay, you see everything is in English guys, okay? Here, everything is getting displayed in English language. But do you believe that the same Microsoft company has specially or specifically customized a localized version of the same Windows operating system for Japanese language so that there may be some set of people in Japan who are reluctant to use the Windows operating system because they don't know English. So those people, okay, who only know Japanese language, if they have to use Windows operating system, a localized version of the Windows operating system should be available, okay? So uh, this is the URL, guys. Let me open and show you the URL for you. So how the localized version of the Japanese the Windows operating system will look like, okay? So this is a, this is a localized version. You see, everything is uh, displayed in uh, Japanese language. You see, all the options are coming in Japanese language, okay? So similarly, we also have Korean, okay? Microsoft also has customized or created or designed a localized version of uh, Windows operating system, okay? Based on a Korean language, okay? So the people who only know Korea, Korean language, okay? If they are reluctant to use uh, English language by Windows operating system in English, okay? Then they'll use this operating system. So what is the use? What is the purpose? What is the advantage of uh, a company, big company like Microsoft? is uh, creating a localized version for uh, Japanese language and Korean language. What is the benefit? Because the simple benefit is market share will increase. Okay, more people are going to use the software. Okay, the Microsoft want Windows operating system to be used worldwide. Okay, but due to language problems or culture problems or locality problems, some of the people may be reluctant to use the Windows operating system. So what the Microsoft company has designed is decided is they decided to Okay, based on the number of uh, people who can come into the market, if they create this kind of localized version, they designed a localized version of Windows operating system for in Japanese language and they released into the market. So those kind of people are increasing. So it will get more market share. That's what is the advantage, guys, okay? So now we understood what is localization. Testing such kind of localized versions of the software, okay, which are specially or specifically designed for a specific culture, locality, or region, or language is called as localization testing. Now let's understand what is globalization testing now. Here, in globalization testing, generally localization and globalization are uh, particularly compared because localization is specific to a particular culture, language, or region. But here, globalization is worldwide, okay? The application should be, okay, should be working globally, worldwide. Same application, but everyone should use. That is a concept is different altogether. Globalization concept is different altogether. It's not a localized version of a software specially designed for a, a specific language or culture. But here in globalization testing, okay, is a type of testing where we check whether the given application is working globally. That is independent of it, geographical, cultural, language, region, and everything, okay? So if you use that same application in India, people should use. If you use the same application in US, people should be able to use. If you, you use the same application in Japan, the people should be able to use like that. Globally, it should be single application, but globally people have to use, okay? Such kind of application, okay? In simple words, testing the application which is developed for 
for multiple languages, cultures, or regions. Okay, is known as single application, guys. Okay, it's not a here in localized version. Japanese uh, Japanese language has one environment, one 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 uh, uh, one application. For Korean, there is another application, multiple applications. English another three applications. Depending on number of languages in localization, there are that many number of applications. But here only single application in globalization testing. But that application should work globally. Okay, so for different languages, different regions, different cultures, it should work. How it is possible, guys? I'll show you an example. Simple example is Amazon. Everyone know Amazon.com, right? Just see how it can be worked globally. Okay, so this is Amazon.in, guys. I'll go for Amazon.com better. Amazon.com. So you see this particular Amazon.com is used globally, guys. Uh, here on the application, they are giving an option whether you want to use this application in English or you want to use in uh, other language like Portuguese. Okay, if I select Portuguese, you see all the all the names are converting into Portuguese language. Okay, Portuguese. Okay, Portuguese place or location or what? Dutch, D. Okay, different language or culture or region. Okay, so like the different things are there, guys. Okay, like the different uh, places are there. One minute. Let me hover the mouse. And uh, you see uh, a different language. I don't know what languages these are. Okay, so maybe the people who actually belong to this particular localities definitely will know what exactly these languages are. Okay, okay. So, so that's what is the thing, guys. Okay, again, let me change it back to English. This is a single application, guys. Single application we are using in different languages. Okay. Uh, uh, respective of different regions and cultures, you can change the language and use. That is called as globalization testing. Testing such kind of applications like Amazon.com, which are working for different lang uh, regions, languages, cultures worldwide. Okay, single application working for different languages, cultures worldwide is called as globalization testing. Okay, what is the purpose? What is the benefit? More people are going to adopt the software, right? Okay, if you make the application global, that means around the globe, people are going to use. More people are going. More market will come. Same advantage, what localization testing advantage is there. Globalization also, same benefit is there. Okay, but what exactly is the difference now? Now you understood what is localization testing, globalization testing. So you can easily understand what is the difference between localization and globalization testing now. So localization application developed specifically for a particular region, language, or locality is known as localization, whereas globalization is nothing but application developed for using worldwide. An application which is developed for using worldwide is known as globalization application which is developed for using for a particular used for uh, using in a particular region language or locality of that people is known as localization testing such kind of localized application is called as localization testing testing such kind of application which has to work worldwide is known as globalization testing so hope guys you have got the difference between what is localization versus globalization testing in this session so that's all for this session in the next session i'm going to answer another software testing interview question for you till then see you bye bye